We all understand that the kingdom of darkness is the enemy of the kingdom of God. We understand that. Evil men get worse and worse as time goes on. The Bible tells us that. Jesus said, in the world you'll have trouble. Be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. Trouble to the believing community, trouble to the church, to the people of God is not new. We all understand that throughout the history of the church, believers have been persecuted. They've not only been persecuted, they've been executed. So we're not at all surprised when the world turns on the people of God. Uh, there's a new approach in that regard happening right now in the state of California. It's a bill in the legislature titled SB 1146, and it is a bill that has already gone through some of the House and Senate in the state of California and been approved. And I think it's up for signature by the governor to put it into law that basically says Christian colleges and universities in particular cannot discriminate against the lesbian, bisexual, transgender, homosexual, queer community. If we do that, we are subject to lawsuits. And furthermore, if any students are receiving any kind of, of scholarships, such as Cal grants, uh, which are provided by the state of California with taxpayer money, those will be eliminated. So, here's the fallout. We can't discriminate based on this law, and if any of our students receive any money from the state, they will cease to receive that money. Simply stated, this is the most direct attack on Christianity, on higher education in Christianity in the history of our country. Now, having said that, let me say this. I don't fear this. This is just the latest in attacking us. That's been going on all through the history of the church, and it will continue to go on. Uh, I don't know what the fallout's going to be. I expect this, but I also expect that the Lord is going to honor his truth, and he's going to honor those who are faithful to that truth. What concerns me is not what the world does to Christians, what concerns me is how Christians react to it. And I'm already beginning to see some Christian institutions trying to find wiggle room, trying to maybe change some things and make some compromises so this really doesn't threaten them. I would never do that. We at the Masters University will never do that. We will be faithful to the Word of God and... Uh, leave our case in the hands of God. Now, having said that, let me say this. The kingdom of this world is under the power of Satan. We know that. And what happens in the kingdom of this world has nothing to do with the kingdom of God. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight. No, the kingdom of God is not a part of this world. The world is the enemy of the kingdom of God. A simple way to understand it is this. What happens in the world, what happens in our nation, what happens in our culture, what happens in our society, neither helps nor hinders the work of the kingdom of God. Did you get that? It neither helps nor hinders. It is a non-factor. Jesus said, I will build my church. It's in that confidence that we stay faithful to our Lord. And we're going to watch and see how God glorifies himself and honors himself through those who are faithful, even at this level of persecution. The Lord will not forsake us. I kind of feel like Joshua, you know, the Lord said to him, be strong, be of good courage. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. As I look at what this might mean down the road, I'm excited to see how God is going to sustain those who are faithful, even against this kind of threat.